It's just one of the weirdest things I've ever touched. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. I'm just now realizing that the uh, E in eBay is supposed to be a little E and that the B in eBay is supposed to be a big B, but we're just gonna ignore that. Today we're going to be doing a couple of different things in one. First off, we're going to be doing kind of like an update on the last eBay mystery box unboxing that I did. If you guys wanna go check that out, I'll link it down below for you guys. Basically in that video, I get a $35 high-end makeup mystery box and then I unbox it and we see what is inside and we got some items in there that weren't exactly what they promised on the listing. But if you have not seen that video yet, this video is not gonna make much sense, so you can go ahead and pause this one and go watch that one if you would like to, or if not, that's fine. But anyway, after that video, I did decide to reach out to the eBay seller and just let the seller know that I got some items in there that really didn't match up with the listing and I did get a used item. Basically, I suggested that they should change their listing like just a little bit if they wanted to include like drugstore items with high-end items in their mystery boxes and then I just wanted to let them know that I did indeed get a used item. The seller did respond a little bit aggressively at first, things kind of went back and forth a little bit, but the seller did like apologize for all of that and they offered to send me some extra items or a replacement mystery box in order to make up for like the used item in the other mystery box. The seller did send out the replacement items really quickly and the seller also assured me that they would be more than happy to do this for anybody else who had an issue with the box that they received. So that is good. I'm glad that they're promising that they will uphold the listing that they put on their eBay. I feel like I'm really like talking with my hands today and I don't know why. All right, so that's pretty much it as far as updates go, but now we're going to actually get into the replacement eBay mystery box right here. It actually came like super like, cutely packaged in some what is this called? Plaid? Plaid wrapping paper. Very cute. Makes me think of like a Christmas package, which I'm so excited because Christmas is so very close and I cannot wait to start decorating. I'm going to be changing my entire background here to do a more like Christmassy, holiday, wintry theme. If you guys have any suggestions of what you would like to see behind me here, let me know. Let's go ahead and rip into our replacement mystery box here because I just, I'm real excited to see what's in here, to be honest. Again, the first mystery box that I bought from the seller, I really didn't think the value was too bad. I just didn't think it matched the description very well. And that was my biggest like suggestion of what they could do on their listing is to, you know, just maybe make it include like more drugstore items so that way people when they get their boxes know what to expect and then also just to make sure like nothing you're including is used or anything like that which the ebay seller did say that they most definitely have never used the lipstick it must have just been like you know purchased used alrighty so it came in this little priority mail box here and it says enjoy on the front so let's go ahead and get in here and see what it's like on the inside oh all right, so let's go ahead and get into this little rolled up envelope to see what is inside. I'm pretty excited. Alrighty, reaching in, I can fill several like smaller items. So I'm just gonna go in and pull them out randomly and see what we got. Let's go for this platter box first. All right, so our first item in here is from Lorac and this is a color source buildable blush and I've never actually had a blush from Lorac before. It looks like a very pretty color. On the back here, there is a pricing sticker that says $23. So at one point in time, this blush must cost at least $23. So that's good. So the blush comes in a little magnetized pan here. It's actually pretty cute. This is in the shade Prism and it is a very, very pretty color. It is pretty soft to the touch and it's swatched pretty well too. Pretty buttery and creamy and pigmented. I really didn't expect it to give off that much pigment when I first saw it because it looked pretty light, but uh, I like this so far. So, so far it's so good. Let's go ahead and reach back in here and pull out a skinny box. All right, next up we have something from Urban Decay, which is definitely high-end, and this is a 24-7 glide-on eye pencil. It is a waterproof eye pencil. Comes in a really pretty package, too. Nice and shiny. And this is in the shade Desperation. Um, It looks maybe like a grayish color. It's actually a little bit lighter than I expected it to be. I really don't own any eyeshadows in a grayish tone like this. I guess this would be nice for maybe like smoking out a lower lash line or something like that. I really cannot in any way, shape, or form do my standard like winged eyeliner with these pencils. I just don't have that type of artistry. I don't have that type of steady hand. So these pencils I use for like waterline, smoking stuff out, things like that. All right, next up in here, I'm feeling another little box. Let's go ahead and get that out. All right, our next little thing in here is from Butter London. And if I'm not mistaken, I think the only thing I've ever tried from Butter London was their like nail polishes, but this is a glazing eye gloss. Hmm. 
Hmm, that sounds very interesting. It is in the shade Icing, and it's all like sealed up and everything, and I don't think any seals have been broken, so that means it's definitely not used. I feel really bad. I like ripped the box to shreds, and I'm such a weird person. I save like all of my packaging like a hoarder, like a weird just box hoarder. I know a lot of people collect like cool stuff like baseball cards and old dolls and things like that, but I just keep um, boxes full of boxes under my bed. Alrighty, so here is the little container of eye gloss. It is a very pretty package. Oh no, oh my. Oh wow, okay, uh, this is one of the most interesting textures of a makeup product that I've ever seen. It looks like it looks like jelly. Can y'all see that jiggle? Can y'all see that jiggle? I've got to touch this. I've... Oh! Oh! Whoa! I mean, just the strangest consistency ever. Y'all see that? Oh, it's leaking. Oh no. Alrighty, here it is swatched a little too uh, aggressively all over the back of my hand, but it is a super pretty color. Um, I really love like that pink gold sheen to it. Super, super pretty. It's just one of the weirdest things I've ever touched. I've just never seen makeup in this kind of like flubbery format before. I wonder if this dries down or if it stays kind of like slippy and glossy because it is like an eye gloss. I guess we'll see what happens on the back of my hand. I can kind of already feeling it dry down actually, but the, it's just, it's really pretty. It's just weird. Alrighty, the last thing in our little bag here is from Hure and this is a lip lure or lure. I just, for this word right here, it, me and it just don't go together. I can't say like Allure Beauty Box to save my life, so this is Lip Lure. This is a hydrating lip lacquer in the shade Mystic. That's a pretty cool name, and I think, yes I have. I've had one of these before. I got this in a BoxyCharm, like forever ago, many, many moons ago. But this is one of those things where you like twist the bottom and like shove up the lipstick and then it pops out through like the little holes in this like fuzzy part on top. We can definitely tell this has never been used before because the top is very, very clean and it has not been like pumped up yet. Oh, oh no. <laughs> It comes out of the top like Play-Doh hair. All right, so now that we have like what looks to be a smushed spider on top of the little lipstick here, let's go ahead and get a swatch. All right, here it is swatched in the back of my hand and I really like this color. It's like a super deep berry. It looks to be fairly pigmented and a little bit glossy. I don't think these dry down matte or anything like that, but they do leave like a nice gloss on the lips. And speaking of gloss, our eye gloss does like dry down, but it also like rubs off on your finger. So it's not gonna be like a wet tacky feeling on your eye, but I still feel like it can transfer. Alrighty guys, that was everything in my replacement eBay mystery box. And several of these things I'm really actually interested in. This eye gloss looks beautiful. I love the color of this lip product right here. The blush is super duper pretty and then I might be able to get some type of use out of the eye pencil. I am gonna go ahead and like sanitize some of the things that didn't have like safety seals just because that might be decent practice anyway when buying things off eBay because you know, you're not 100% sure where they came from. Overall, I would definitely say I'm pretty happy with my replacement box. I really like almost this entire color combination on the back of my hand. It looks super, super folly. So as always, when I do mystery box unboxings, I just go ahead and pose a warning about these kind of boxes on eBay. You just never really know what you're gonna get. Sometimes you can get lucky and get some really great stuff, but sometimes you can end up with actual garbage. So I would completely caution everybody to maybe not do mystery boxes. And if you got to, if you just have to, if you are like compelled to purchase a mystery box, just go ahead and get something that's really, really cheap, free shipping. So if you end up getting, you know, a half eaten banana in a box, it's not going to be like devastating to your bank account. Anyway, so that was my replacement mystery box. And I just wanted to share that with you guys and show you like what happened after I did kind of talk to the eBay seller about the listings on eBay. And yeah, that is all I have for you all today. I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Please go ahead and subscribe if you would not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. Plus don't forget that we do have our monthly giveaway going on right now. I'll link that down below for you guys. And other than that, I'll just see y'all next time. Bye.